Hi, I'm Robin DeJesus. Meet me at the Muni. Meet me at the Muni. The Muni in Forest Park. Hi, I'm Mike Isaacson, the executive producer of the Muni, and I am here on a beautiful Monday morning with a well-rested Robin DeJesus, <laughs> who is here at the Muni playing the part of Aladdin in Aladdin, which we are so excited you're here. I've been a fan of your work for such a long oh, time. Thank you so much. And um, so here's the story of how you got here. You were sort of like, we're doing it, and I talked to Gary, and we were like, wow, Robin DeJesus would be amazing. And right, and I was like, well, I don't know. I'm somehow gonna figure out how to reach out to him. And right beforehand, Ken Page stopped by, and I mentioned this, he goes, I'm going down to DC. I'm like, get him, get him to come here. <laughs> and like two days later, he calls me, he goes, here's his cell, call him, I got him interested. I'm like, thanks, so I am very happy you're here. Oh, thank you, yeah. and God bless Ken Page for that. Yeah, so you're gonna ride a magic carpet. Yes. You're gonna do, so. I'm gonna be like Elphaba. You're gonna be like Elphaba, we're taking you up. Yes. Oh. So, I mean, this is like the big leading man thing. How do you feel about it? It's, uh. It's crazy. I, I, I had to check myself uh, like last night. I've never been the leading man before. Uh -huh. um, and, I, and I had a moment where my ego was like taking on all this extra responsibility. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is accomplishing nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to start thinking about this as a group effort for my own safety. Yeah, and yeah. and it, it changed. Like la last night, I felt so much better and calmer right. and like, I right. feel ready. Well, it is, it is sort of like you read the script and it's a beautiful sort of ensemble piece with this sort of jaunty comedy and it sort of weaves in and out. And, you know, so tell me about, uh, we're gonna have a lot of kids in the audience. This yeah. is a show. So tell me about you when you were a kid. The, do you remember the first thing you ever saw as a child? First yeah, the, the first show I ever saw was at what became my high school uh, was Annie. And then it was West Side Story. Okay. Um, and it was amazing. It was it was it was it was ridiculously amazing. And I remember when I got specifically with West Side, when we got to when we got to the high school, we were all in the elementary school, and they split us up. And to make it fun, they said to the kids, you know, this group over here is the sharks, and this group over here is the jets. Oh. And I was a jet, and I was like, but I'm Puerto Rican. I gotta be a shark. <laughs> and I was like so upset, and that always just that always stayed with me. And then I went to that high school, um, and I remember the best thing was doing those elementary school matinees where the kids would come in and see the show and yeah, yeah it's always they're always the most responsive it's, audiences. It's very powerful because it's so pure. Yes. It's just the work and them and they receive it and it's really, really so did you look at that and go oh I can do that when did you discover no. you had massive talent? I didn't I, I, I was horrible as a kid singer. Okay. And then puberty was my best friend. <laughs> and for some reason... As it is often for many of us. Yes, <laughs> yes. And somehow puberty allowed me to like hit the pitch. Yes. Um, and so I got to middle school. And every year when we got to eighth grade, we would do a 15-minute skit of a show. Okay. And the year that I got to eighth grade, it was Grease. All right. And it just so happened that there was a production going on nearby. So a friend of mine said, hey, they're doing Grease uh, over in the next town over. Do you want to audition with me? And I said, sure, and I went, and I really, like, I didn't know what I was, what I was getting in for, but, uh, but I remember it was a really, like, half of the group was really horribly mean to me, and, but the other half was just like, whatever. But what was really cool about it is that despite the fact there was this really mean group, because I was kind of the kid from the other side of the tracks yeah. the, in the group, was that my love for doing the show so overpowered the experience. Yeah that it didn't stop me from continuing to do theater, which I think says a lot yeah. about theater. Yeah. Um, but um, that show set me free.